So now we have Alexander Fleming, who is the discoverer of the amazing pen medicine penicillin. So how did you discover this medical lyrical? That, that's what I get a lot. So one time I was in my lab, I know, um, and I accidentally, like, I was just doing research to, like, it was World War II, so I was trying to help people, like, get rid of infectious bacteria. So I was playing with this um, chemical called penicillin. And I accidentally left some staph bacteria in a petri dish out on a table. And I come back the next day, and uh, I left some penicillin in the petri dish, and all the, uh, all the staph bacteria was moved to the outside of the ring of penicillin, so it was all gone. Um, so, and then I put it into a powder, and there you go, penicillin. Wow. So at what point did you realize that this medicine had made a huge impact? Well, my uh, friend that's a scientist, he works with graphs and um, charts, and he made a graph of the death rate from 1940s to 1960s. And during World War II, it was just very high, like almost in the a million range. Uh, due to bacteria from uh, all the dirt, they had poor uh, clothing. And then after the invention, it, it just started like going down. And at, by 1946, it was at uh, 600,000. Who were some people that you worked with on this project? Well, one of the people that I think most is Howard Florey. He, at first, made a big mistake. He made this uh, drug that would also kill the bacteria, but also kill the human. So I took that and I diluted it and made it my own serum. And also there's Mark Chain. He just, he worked at uh, Oxford with me and we just played around with all this stuff and it eventually just came to what we know as penicillin today. So were people accepting and trusting the medicine at first or were they like skeptical about it? Well, I think they were skeptical, but they needed it so much that they were just willing to try it. If they didn't try it, they probably would have died anyway from bacteria. So they were just willing to do whatever they could to at least try to uh, cure their diseases. Now, is this still popular today, or is there another medical enhancement that made it obsolete? Well, there's all, penicillin was actually a pathway to the even bigger medical enhancements that you know today, so. Um, but it's still used a lot, like when you take a regular antibiotic that has penicillin in it, and you see those like everywhere uh, in a lot of pharmacies. Um, so I wouldn't say it's becoming obsolete. I would say it's pretty high up there in the medical world. Wow, that was so interesting. Thank you so much, Alex, for coming. No problem. Time. And see you, see you next time. time. <laughs>